Hello, everyone. We've got a real problem at the garage today. Rick the road roller hasn't got any roads to roll at the construction site. He's really bored, and now he's here, flattening anything he can find. Hey, that's my toolbox. Rick. We really need to find something useful for Rick to do before he causes any more damage. Hello, Vicky. Vicky the Ice Cream Van's visiting us today too. She's looking for something new to sell to people at the beach. Ice creams and lollies are okay as a treat, but Vicky wants to sell something a bit healthier as well. Come inside the garage, Vicky, and I'll show you what we've got for you. Check out the Rainbow Smoothie Trailer 3000. It can hold six different types of smoothie, made with yummy, healthy fruit. It's the perfect drink to cool people down during a hot day at the beach. What's the matter, Vicky? Don't you like it? Oh, I see. You like the smoothie trailer, but it's empty. Hmm, how are we going to make the smoothies? My truck friends can deliver the fruit. But we need a way to squash it into juice. That is a problem. Can you think of anyone who can help us to squash the fruit? Rick! Of course! That solves both our problems. Rick gets something useful to squash, and Vicky gets her smoothies. We need a platform for Rick to stand on so that he can squash the fruit. Then we can park the smoothie trailer underneath to catch the juice. This sounds like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! While the mechanicals are building the platform for Rick, let's have a look at the yummy fruit that my truck friends are delivering. Helen the helicopter is carrying a load of giant watermelons. Florence the forklift has crates of juicy oranges. Dylan the dump truck is carrying lemons, pineapples and mangoes. Trevor the tractor has a trailer of crunchy apples and furry kiwis. Sid the skid loader is loaded up with blueberries, grapes and plums. And Max the monster truck has boxes of tasty bananas and delicious ripe raspberries. Let's make some rainbow smoothies. Let's get squashing. We'll start with red. Oh no, Rick's crushing green fruit instead. Oh, now I see why he was so keen. Inside the watermelon is red, not green. Now here's a fruit with nothing to hide. It's called an orange, and it's orange inside. It's the juice I love the most. It's yummy with my morning toast. Lemon, pineapple, and mango. Rick squashes them up. The juice is yellow. Watch the pipes as the liquids flow into the trailer down below. Next, I think it must be time for apple and kiwi and a hint of lime. The best juice colour I've ever seen. Just like me, a lovely green. Now I don't know what to do. Blueberry juice isn't really blue. So let's add grapes and then a plum. A purple smoothie's just as fun. Just one more box of fruit to go. Squash those raspberries nice and slow. Add some bananas and it's ready to drink. This final one is super pink. Fantastic! Well done everyone! Those smoothies look great! Before you head off to the beach, Vicky, 
I think we should do a taste test. He works down at Number Farm, helping Farmer George with lots of important jobs. Oh, Trevor, you do look a mess. I'm glad you came to see us, so that we can fix all of your problems. Go, go, Mechanicals! You really work hard on the farm, don't you, Trevor? But you do need to look after yourself properly. Your plough is all bent out of shape. How did it get like that? In the spring, Trevor ploughs the farmer's fields to get the soil ready for planting. He pulls a big plough behind him. It looks like hard work. Oh dear, those large rocks have really bashed up the plough. Then Trevor helps to sow the seeds. He pulls another machine that throws the seeds out onto the ploughed soil. Now that the mechanicals have repaired the plough, they need to take a look at your poor trailer. How did that get so broken? In the summer, Trevor spreads fertiliser on the crops to help them grow big and strong. Trevor also helps to harvest the farmer's delicious red apples from the orchard. That trailer looks very heavy and full. I think there's too many apples in there. Ah, so that's how the trailer got broken. There, your trailer's as good as new. Now, what about this giant scratch on your paintwork? What happened there? In the autumn, when the crops are ready to be harvested, Trevor uses his harvesting attachment to chop and gather all of the lovely golden wheat, ready to be made into breakfast cereal and flour. Oh no, this tree has fallen over in an autumn storm. Trevor the tractor is so strong that he can drag the tree out of the road so that everyone can get to where they need to go. Look out for that branch. Oh no, it scratched his lovely red paintwork. A quick respray and your paintwork's as good as new. Now, why does your engine sound so grumpy? In the winter, Trevor has to drive through the snow to take bales of hay to feed the horses. Trevor also goes out onto the country lanes to help cars in the snow. Poor Sophie is stuck in a snowdrift. Trevor clears the heavy snow from the road with his snow plough. And then pulls Sophie up the hill. No wonder his engine sounds poorly after all that heavy work. There, the mechanicals have fixed up your engine, re-sprayed your paintwork, repaired your broken trailer, and pulled your plough back into shape. After all those seasons, you just needed a bit of maintenance. But now you're as good as new, and ready for spring, summer, autumn, and winter on the farm all over again. Dr. Poppy's invited us to a special fancy dress party at the zoo today. We all have to dress up as zoo animals. I promised to help my friends get dressed up for the party. Here they come now. Ryan, Florence, Celia, Andy, Rick, Tony, Tilly, Maisie, and Bobby. Now my friends are here, it's time to get them into their animal costumes for the party. Let's put the truck wash into dressing up mode. Do you know which button is the dressing up button? 
That's right, it's the green hanger and bow. Brilliant! Now the truck wash is a dressing up machine filled with fantastic costumes. It's time to send the vehicles through. In goes Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane. He's going to make you laugh. When you see him all dressed up as a super tall giraffe. Up next is Florence the Forklift. What will she dress as today? She's a baby elephant, all wrinkly and grey. Celia the cement mixer is clean and sprayed and white. She's a stunning zebra, like a horse, but striped. Andy the animal ambulance had better stay away from Ryan. We wouldn't want our new giraffe being chased by a fearsome lion. Rick the reliable road roller looks like the next one to go. A couple of horns, a coat of paint. What a scary looking rhino! Here comes Tony the taxi. What's going on in there? A pair of ears and some white spray paint makes a cuddly panda bear. Now it's tow truck Tilly's turn with her clothes from Halloween. She makes a brilliant scorpion. Those claws look really mean. In goes Maisie the mower. Add a new head that's fake. Stretch her out. Add a tongue. She makes a brilliant snake. And now it's Bobby the bus. Into the costume provider. And out he comes with eight new legs. A big, huge, hairy spider. Can you guess what I'm dressed up as? I'm orange, with black stripes and sharp teeth. That's right, I'm a tiger. Rah! Everyone looks fantastic, but we've forgotten to dress the mechanicals. Mechanicals! Stop messing around and drive into the dressing up machine. In go the mechanicals. Each one disappears. And out pop cheeky monkeys with long tails and giant ears. Brilliant! Now we're all ready. Let's head over to the zoo. Ryan the giraffe, Florence the baby elephant, Celia the zebra, Andy the lion, Rick the rhino, Tony the panda, Tilly the scorpion, Bobby the spider, Maisie the snake and the monkey mechanicals. all the guests. Hello everyone. <laughs> That's looking great. Oh, hello everyone. Gecko here. 
Chelsea the cherry pickers helping me and the mechanicals to decorate the town, ready for the big truck parade this afternoon. My truck friends are meeting up at Gecko's garage to get ready for the parade. Let's go visit them. Wow! There's lots of big trucks here for the parade. But where's Florence the forklift? I thought she was joining us. Oh, there you are, Florence. I couldn't see you behind Fiona the fire truck. Hmm, I think this might be a problem during the parade. We want to make sure that all of the trucks can be seen by everyone. I think we should parade through the town in size order with the smallest truck at the front and the largest at the back. This is no good at all. The trucks are all jumbled up. We need the smallest truck on the left. That's you, Florence. And we need the biggest truck on the right. That's you, George. Who's the second smallest vehicle after Florence? It's difficult to pick. Tilly, maybe? Or Ryan? No, it's our road roller, Rick. Now, out of Tilly and Chelsea, who would you say is smaller? Tilly's hook makes her look tall, but Chelsea's arm can go taller. There, just move around a bit, and we have our smallest four. But now things get tricky, as it's time to sort some more. Max is big, but he'd be hidden by Ryan's arm and wrecking ball. But Fiona's even bigger. She's like a huge red wall. We'll put Max five and Ryan six. Let's get them into line with Fiona number seven. Now we need an eight and nine. Here are our last few vehicles. Next biggest is Bobby the bus. Then it's Larry the large lorry because George is enormous. So Bobby's eighth and Larry ninth, which makes giant George the last. Now every vehicle will be seen when the parade goes past. Fantastic! Everyone is sorted into size order and ready for the parade. Let's go everyone, the crowd will be waiting. Florence the forklift, Rick the road roller, Tilly the tow truck, Chelsea the cherry picker, Max the monster truck, Ryan the wrecking ball crane, Fiona the fire truck, Bobby the bus, Larry the lorry, and George the giant dump truck. Whoa, what's happened? We've stopped. Oh, now I can see what's happened. Florence has broken down. And because everyone's in a line, Tilly can't get to the front to help out. Rick the road roller is blocking the way. What are we going to do? This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, Helen! Hello, Helen. Are we glad to see you? Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Right, Florence. I think this is a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals!
Poor Florence. With that wonky wheel, we've really been delayed. But I'll get Helen to give us a lift to the end of the parade. Poor Florence has missed most of the parade. They've had to carry on without her. We'll have to drop her at the back of the line. Oh dear, this is no good at all. Nobody will notice tiny Florence behind giant George. And all she can see is George's back. This won't do at all. But I've got an idea. Hold on, Florence. Let's get you a better view. Hello again, Florence. Welcome to the best seat in the house. Now Florence is the highest in the parade. She can see everything from up here, and everyone can see her. Fantastic! Florence the forklift, she's so clever, moving the parts around the store. Florence the forklift goes forever, she puts them down upon the floor. She turns to the left and reaches high, then she turns to the right as she passes by. Florence picks up things from down, down low. She's super strong and she can go, go, go. Lift. Florence the forklift turns in circles. She can go back and round and round. Florence the forklift likes to chuckle. She loves to lift parts from the ground. She turns to the left and reaches high. Then she turns to the right as she passes by. Florence picks up things from down, down low. She's super strong and she can go, go, go! Show them what you can do, Florence! Left. Right. Up. Down. Round. And round. And round. And round. And round. And up and down. She's so clever, moving the parts around the store. Florence the forklift goes forever. She puts them down upon the floor. She turns to the left and reaches high. Then she turns to the right as she passes by. Florence picks up things from down, down low. She's super strong and she can go, go, go. That was so much fun, Florence. It's the day of the Truck Cup final. I hope you're all as excited as we are. It's a five-a-side match between the construction trucks and the regular trucks. And I'm the referee. The construction trucks are going to play in yellow. So they're already the right colour. But the other trucks are all different colours. So for today's game, they are all getting painted blue. Everyone looks great, but there's something missing. I know. Football players usually have a number on their shirt. Let's use even numbers for the yellow team and odd numbers for the blue team. I wonder if Maisie and Sid have finished getting the pitch ready. Wow, the pitch looks fantastic. Well done, Maisie. Well done, Sid. I've got the football, and here come the teams. Is everyone ready to begin? Three, two, one. The yellow team has the ball. Danny passes it to Rick. Oh no. Rick's flattened the ball. 
I hope the Mechanicals can pump it back up again. Well done, Mechanicals. That's a yellow card for Rick. The blue team get the ball. Max has the ball. He's nearly at the yellow team's goal. Oh no, they have George as their goalkeeper. He's enormous. He fills up the goal. Can Max get past George? Yes, he's done it. Max scores a goal. One nil to the blue team. Trevor's got the ball. He's slow and steady, but oh no, Ryan has taken the ball. Look at him go. Brilliant dribbling. It's like the ball is glued to his tracks. Hang on a moment. He's attached the ball to his chain. That's not fair. That's a yellow card for Ryan. The blue team get the ball again. Rebecca's got the ball. She passes to Fiona. Hey, Fiona's using her flashing lights to get the yellow team to move out of the way. That's not allowed. Yellow card for Fiona. The yellow team get the ball. It's Danny on the ball now. He passes it to Florence. It's all down to Florence now. Can she score for the yellows? She weaves past Fiona. She weaves past Max. Vicky's in goal. But she can't stop Florence. It's a goal for the yellow team. That's one goal each. And that's the final whistle. Both teams have scored a goal. So it's a draw. What a fantastic game. It was a draw, so everyone's a winner. They can all share the trophy. Should we keep it at the garage? Everyone looks so happy. Well, almost everyone. Maisie and Sid don't look very happy. Ah... Uh, I think they've seen what a mess the grass is in after all that driving around. Bobby the bus is visiting the garage today. He needs a wash. Again! He gets very mucky. Bobby needs cleaning in the morning. Bobby needs cleaning in the afternoon. Bobby even needs cleaning at night time. Every morning, Bobby has to refuel with dirty diesel to power his engine. <coughs> Ew! Bobby's fuel smells terrible. It's so dirty. <coughs> Here comes Evie, the electric car. She doesn't have any problems with dirty diesel. She's lovely. Bobby wishes he could be as quiet and clean as Evie. Evie charges up her batteries using clean energy from the sun. Hmm, I wonder. Hey Bobby, how would you like to get rid of your dirty old diesel engine and run on clean electricity instead? It's a big job, but I think the mechanicals are up for it. Let's get you into the garage and get started. Drive onto the platform and let's see what we can see. What do we need to do to make you run electrically? Go, go mechanicals! The mechs take Bobby's engine out. Fit motors to his wheels. Install a brand new charging port. There! Let's see how that feels. Oh no, Bobby's wheels won't go. Now what have we done wrong? Of course, he needs some batteries to power him along. Energy from the sun goes into the solar panels on the garage roof. That energy travels through our charger into the batteries on an electric vehicle like Evie. Evie stores the energy in her batteries and that powers the motors in her wheels. It takes a lot of energy to power a bus, so Bobby's new batteries are very big and very heavy. Where should the mechanicals put the batteries, I wonder? How about at the back, 
where we took the old engine out. There's lots of room there. Oh dear, that's no good. The batteries are too heavy to all go at the back of the bus. Bobby's done a wheelie. How about we spread them out? Inside Bobby. The mechanicals might need to clear a bit of space first though. Um, mechanicals. I know you needed to make space for the batteries, but I didn't mean take all the seats out. Where are the passengers going to sit now? On the roof? Hold on a minute. On. The. Roof. Of course. Put those seats back in. I've had an idea. The best place for the batteries is up on the roof. Bobby stays balanced. There's still room for all his passengers inside. And the air going over the roof helps to keep the batteries cool and working properly. Let's install a cover over the batteries to protect them from bad weather. Perfect! Now Bobby's ready to roll. Let's get those batteries fully charged. One per cent, two per cent, three per cent. Hmm, this charger is far too slow. Bobby has a giant battery pack, far bigger than Evie's. We need to make this electric charger into a supercharger. Let's try again. Huh, they don't seem to have made this charger any faster at all. What's going on? Uh-oh, it looks like the mechanicals have supercharged the wrong charger. Blue Mechanicals charger is going crazy. Look at those numbers go. Eek! It looks like Blue Mechanicals got lots of extra energy to use up. Look at him go. Now that Blue Mechanical has helped to supercharge the charger, we should be able to charge Bobby's batteries at record speeds. It's working! Look at those numbers go! 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 percent! Bobby is fully charged. Well done, Mechanicals! One of my oldest friends is visiting us today. Oscar the bus works with his friend Bobby, carrying passengers around town. Here they come. Wow, Bobby's fast. Oh dear, it looks as if Oscar's having trouble keeping up with Bobby. Oscar is slow. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Oscar hasn't arrived yet, so let's take a look at Bobby first. Bobby is big and shiny and new. He can carry lots of passengers and they stay warm and dry inside. There's certainly nothing wrong with you, Bobby. Off you go and pick up your passengers. We'll stay here and wait for Oscar. Hello Oscar, you made it at last. Let's take a good look at you. Bobby was big and shiny and new. But Oscar is small and rusty and old. His top deck has no roof so his passengers get cold and wet in the winter. I know you feel tired and sad Oscar but I don't think you're ready to retire yet. Perhaps you just need a new job. Why not let Bobby take all the passengers to work and school? And you could become a summer tour bus, showing visitors all the sights and sounds of the town. 
let's get the mechanicals to fix you up, give you a fresh coat of paint and get you ready for your new job. Go, go mechanicals! I know you're feeling old and tired, but there's no need to fuss. Visitors to an old, old town would love an old, old bus. You won't need Bobby's sat-nav to find your way around. You've lived right here for 80 years. You know every sight and sound. There'll be time to enjoy the sights because you're slow and steady. And what a view from your top deck. Cameras at the ready. And when each summer's over and the tourists go away, spend the winter at Gecko's Garage. What a cosy place to stay. There we go, Oscar. The mechanicals have fixed you up a treat. You look very smart. And I think you're ready to start your new job. And you have your first customers already. The mechanicals. They deserve a fun trip around the town after all their hard work. I hope Oscar and the Mechanicals enjoy their tour of the town. I'm out and about today with my friend, Chelsea the Cherry Picker. We're busy replacing all of the old street lights with brilliant new LED bulbs. They use much less electricity and last much longer. A cherry picker or boom lift has an extending arm with a basket at the end to lift people up and down. I can move Chelsea's basket from this control panel. Would you like to take a closer look? This joystick is the most important control. I can move the basket left, right, higher, and low. Ah! Uh-oh. Ah! Help! Help! Chelsea's arm is going crazy. I can't stop it. Chelsea, you need to drive us to the garage. Quickly! I think I'm going to be sick. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a gecko in need. We need to stop Chelsea's arm. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! Hit the emergency stop button! Phew! Thanks, Blue Mechanical. Oh dear. It's good that Chelsea's arm has stopped moving. But now, I'm stuck high up in the air. Hello? Anybody? There must be a way to get the arm down to the ground again. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Chelsea turn. Chelsea has a sturdy base to keep her standing strong and a red emergency button to press when she goes wrong. She's got four wheels to move around but as far as I can see, the up and down controls are stuck up here with me. I think the only way down is to get this joystick reattached. But blue, green and yellow mechanical can't get up to the basket. This looks like a job for super mechanical. Go, go super mechanical. Phew! Thanks, Super Mechanical. I thought I'd never get back down to the ground again. I'm glad we could get you repaired, Chelsea. Whilst you're here at the garage, 
I've got a job for you to do. Can you help us put solar panels on the roof of the garage, please? Solar panels take light from the sun and turn it into electricity. We can use that electricity to help power the lights and the tools in the garage. We can even use it to charge up the mechanicals. It's really good for our planet. Thanks for your help, Chelsea. I think the mechanicals have all earned a rest and a recharge in their new charging stations. And I'll see you again next time. Bye!